My name is Mariusz Waisaki, and I will be talking about case number eight for Google. Don't be evil unless, where the fundamental ethical issue faced by Google is how they obtain user data, why they obtain it, and what they later do with that user data. Other issues Google has ran into is the fact that they provided copyrighted material on their search engines without the approval of the creators, which is considered theft. And it's definitely unacceptable behavior by a company of that size and any size, to be honest. It's theft should not be allowed in any form. The ethical resolution I can imagine is Google gaining the approval of the creators before posting their art or music or anything on their website and also just being more open with the users of google and how their data is stored how their data is created why their data is collected what the what is done with the data later how advertising companies use that data and also how google profits off of the data so overall, Google should just be more open with their business and how they are able to profit off of everybody and their data. In week one, we have Rosina Thorne talking about how she follows the rules. She's a rule follower and she also tries to treat others how she would like to be treated. And I agree with Rosina because I am also a rule follower and I like to do things according to the book. And in this case, Google isn't necessarily doing things according to the book and they are breaking rules because some of the information they have collected or they have stored, they have it illegally and they are breaking the electronics Communications Privacy Act by keeping that information or by obtaining it without the knowledge of the people that had it. So I don't think Rosina would agree with Google breaking the rules and doing things against the rules. In week two, Nemanja talks about how he used to work with people that would take drinks or food and eat them without paying for them which is another form of theft and should not be allowed they would try to justify the situation by saying things like they don't get paid enough by the company so it's okay that you know they have a drink or a snack here and there and it won't hurt the company or maybe that you know they missed breakfast or didn't get a long enough lunch and they deserve the snack but in the end, it's still theft and it still should not be allowed. So I don't think Nemanja would agree with Google stealing people's information and using it for their own benefit because that's what they end up doing is collecting information or data from your clicks, your inputs, your search bars and selling it to the right companies so they can later advertise and make money off of you. So Nemanja would definitely not agree with that kind of theft going on in Google. In week five, where we talked about and watched the advertising videos, um, I agree with Tabitha and her discussion because all of the descriptions she gives about the videos, I would also agree with. So given that information, I think Tabitha would also not agree with Google and how they have handled certain situations in the past, especially when it comes to gathering user data and then combining it and selling it to companies to make a profit. So I think all of the people I have picked Tabitha, Nemanja, and Rosina would all agree with me and I would all agree with them that Google really needs to change their ways and change the way they 
collect data from people if they were more open with people or maybe even found an incentive that they could offer maybe even pay people for their information they would possibly become a more successful business than they are today and it would just show other businesses that there is no need to be lie or be deceitful in order to be a profitable business.